Hi guys, welcome to Co-Parenting with a Narcissist 101. I'm Kate. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for trying to um, figure figure our way out um, of this uh, hand that we're dealt with. I really appreciate it. All right, um, today let's talk about narcissists and their children, what to expect while co-parenting with them. You know, first of all, of course, we have to understand what we're dealing with here. We are trying to co-parent with a an adult that is emotionally uh, at most five. So basically in this whole mix, you are the, not only are you the only parent, you are the only adult, you know, so um, certain things are not, uh, the expectations rather is at the minimum <laughs> at most. Okay. So um, first of all, you, you expect the narcissist to try and swap roles with a kid. Um, this is when they try to shift the responsibility of a parent to the child and then take on the child position. You know, this is when they will tell the, the you know, the kids, or in my case, um, have the kids be the ones responsible to check in on them. Uh, the kids are, uh, are supposed to call them and find out how they're doing, you know, not, not the other way around. And of course, there's nothing wrong with a child checking on the parent, you know, but the narcissist makes it a, uh, is a demand, you know, is it as expected. And this is them trying to program the children, uh, already, I mean, the kids already have supplied to them, the source of supply to them, but this is them trying to program the kids now to take on that emotional, uh, be the emotional punching bag, you know, that you know, at some point you were. Or somebody else is now the new supply so th this is them trying to have the kids start thinking that way where they are now starting to focus on the narcissist you know this is how they start doing this so they take on the position of a child where now you are supposed to take care of me you are supposed to check in on me you are supposed to find out how mommy is doing you're supposed to find out how daddy is doing you know they don't ask how the kids are doing you know so just like a child would where, you know, little children that will, they'll care about what they want. I mean, they are children, that's, this is expected, not from an adult, but that's how the, you should expect the narcissist to try to swap roles with the, with the, with the kids. Another thing is them, they're looking at the kids as a competition. They've always looked at the kids as a competition, even while they, you guys were together, or if you're still together, you can observe this. The kids are competition to them. They are, they are, uh, and this is because a narcissist's whole existence is for everything and all things to revolve around them. And when you have a child, whether you like it or not, most of the time the child comes first. You, you're always thinking about the child. You're always thinking of what is the child going to eat? You know, the child is almost, which means you have to now think outside of yourself. Now the narcissist can't handle this because remember they are the everything needs to be everybody needs all attention all eyes supposed to be on them. So you have a child where you now you know pay more attention to that becomes a problem. So best believe they are looking at the children as a competition. You know they're gonna use the children as props. Props mean if it, it will make them look good as a parent having the children around yes they can engage with the child other than that they have no interest in them if it makes them look good if they're going to get some kind of benefit if they're going to see if this have an audience that kind of you know congratulating them or, or observing how good of a parent they are then they engage with the child Outside of that, no. Now, if you have two, more than one, if you have two children or more, they're gonna try to make one um, a scapegoat. The other one, the golden child. The golden child does no wrong. No matter what they do, they'll be praised at all times. And then there's gonna be the scapegoat where no matter what they do, is not right. So a, a narcissist would try to do this among children. You know, one is put on a pedestal, the other one is, you know, 
pretty much uh you know you have the cinderella and the uh the the stepsister um situation going on this is all all this is all together put together so that they can get uh more fuel when the conflict that arises from these kind of situations come up and another thing they also would put uh, have the kids compete with each other they compare the kids you know normally as a parent you you know you, you have the kids you know the kids personality everybody personality is different so the child a is not going to be with child c child c is not going to be the same with child d everybody has normal healthy people expect people to have to be different a narcissist will use this to compare the children so it will be like oh look at what your brother is doing your brother won't do this you know you, you should be more like your brother or even if you have a, a just one child it might he or she might compare the child with the the neck the, the the neighbor the neighbor's kids you know the people across the street all this is to start building up in the child slowly attacking a, a child's uh, self-esteem and sense of self-worth and this is so sad because children are, are, are looking children look up to their parents for validation and everything else so when that starts happening especially in the formative years where six seven eight nine all that takes root which obviously means that as an adult all that will come into play with the kind of relationship they will have you know how they relate to other people but this the narcissist that you're co-parenting with will try to do this with the children because you have to you know remember always remember that they do not genuinely care about the kids is all about them if they're not going to get any benefit out of it then they're not engaging the children in any way then all that thing is um like i said no engagement with a child if a narcissist may, might be uh interested in trying to oh i want to uh see the kids or i want to come pick up the children i want to spend the extra day with the child all that is just so to see how much you resist you know now you they eventually take the child or the, the children you realize that there was no there's no engagement after that there's nothing they don't do anything after and anything else after that because the fun for them was in the fight to get their way quote unquote so when the child comes over there or goes to see them you know if you know they have his station right or they actually live with the narcissist realize most of most nine out of ten they don't interact with the children you know the the the, the fun wasn't pretending you know pretending like they care like they really want to spend time with the child you know but after that whole show and there's no more audience there's no more nobody to act the the, the movie for uh, they're done the child is in the corner they're doing what they need to do on their own side so if you the way you tell usually when you have kids outside like in public and a child maybe needs help you should observe which parent they go to when in public which parent do they turn to they always go to the person that is they can rely on and that's how you tell you know a covert narcissist will be uh the most charismatic person outside and everybody loves it matter of fact he's he or she's good with other people's kids and everybody obviously they're not going to expect anything less from them at home but know that they don't know that all that stops there in public that when they get home they might not even know how to change the diet but they don't want to change the diet but they don't want to help the kids with homework they don't want to have help with any household uh, chores or anything like that but out in public they obviously doing the most so when you, you to you if you want if you want to observe this watch kids when you're outside and they need assistance or the help which parent do they turn to you know as much as that parent that is over there entertaining everybody else and appearing like the good parent or whatever you realize that their own children or their own kid when he or she gets into trouble or needs help they turn around and look for the reliable parent 
regardless of the movie that the narcissist is over here acting for the public you can always tell you know you observe it if you're still living with a narcissist or if you're co-parenting with a narcissist this is exactly what goes on they do not genuinely they do not love the children and because of that they can care because for you to care you have to step outside of or outside of yourself to do so and a narcissist can't step outside of himself to care for anybody else it could be like uh 30 degrees outside a narcissist can walk out with um coat on and have the kids come out with them with a t-shirt <laughs> true story has happened <laughs> they will take they will clothe themselves to stay warm and then drag the kids out no care whatsoever do you have your jacket on do you have your socks on do you have your boots on they take them out to the car and they're off to go and then you sit them at the store and you're like wait a minute it's cold outside where is your jacket where is your coat they're dressed up <laughs> you know they're good but that's how that's how self-absorbed that they are a, a parent obviously that's the first thing you do get your jacket get your coat i mean you screaming your head off put your gloves on put this on put that on and narcissist is he or she will take care of themselves first you know get in the car let's go and matter of fact they'll be hurrying get in the car get in the car then out there uh tommy doesn't have his jacket on uh, <laughs> Cynthia has no shoes on <laughs> but that's how these people are they cannot step out beyond themselves to do anything for the children children as just as serving the same purpose as you are a source of supply nothing less nothing more that's it that's how they view them too that's exactly how they view the kids they are like props you know is the show on you pick up the right the prop the show is over you put the prop down that's it that's about it so if at any time you are passing through that five minutes of the show and you get a glimpse of that just that you walk away thinking oh what a, what what a wonderful parent is you know this person is but that's it all you caught was five minutes <laughs> you know all you caught was five minutes you know or they could be out uh, talking about other people's kids and how they're growing oh wow you're getting big and you're doing so well you know what grade are you in and all that they don't know what grade their kids are for sure <laughs> they really don't but they will talk more they, they will be out there giving lectures on parenthood and have no idea what their child's favorite food is that's it they don't they don't love you they never did and as much as it hurts they don't love the children either they don't have the right qualities they don't have the right things you need to love somebody else so you should not expect that from them all right guys that's all i got for today uh remember get your mind right everything else will fall into place you know please like share subscribe let whoever needs to know that this might help let them know and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel all right i'll see you next time bye